up boys and girls so as you can see i am back from baku and um i'm not happy am i what an absolute load of bollocks spineless pathetic feeble bullshit in a final are you fucking dumb these are the player ratings and if you're easily offended then you may as well turn off now because i'll tell you something the only people that did fucking turn up were well, some of us that made the fucking long journey all the way over there. What an absolute shambles. You're an embarrassment to Arsenal Football Club. You're an embarrassment to the badge. Some of you said it all season. You're not good enough. And now the season has finally finished. I hope some of you get out of the fucking door. In the bin where you belong. How on earth can you crumble like that in the second half? In a final, it took two academy kids to come off the bench and show you what it meant. Everyone knows my thoughts on Alex Awobi and that I think we need to upgrade and get better. But he done more in 15 minutes than some of you done in 75. How is that even possible? Joe Willock, he done more in 10 minutes than some of you had done in the previous 80. Absolute shambles. You look at the first half performance. I think it was quite an even contest. Chelsea had chances. We had chances. We had a fair amount of the ball. But I just felt we were lacking that little bit of killer instinct in front of goal. We need to just take one of our chances. And then everything else would fall into place. We come out in the second half and we just collapse. Giroud, of all fucking people, scores the first goal. And then what happened? We fell apart. But are you surprised? How many times over recent years have you seen Arsenal go a goal down and before you know it, it's 2-0, 3-0, 4-0, 5-0, fucking 6-0. I'm fucking sick to the back teeth of it. Spineless bullshit. Everybody's got to take some blame for this. Everybody's got to stand up. And every single one of you has to take responsibility. It's as simple as that. If Arsene Wenger was manager, over the last six weeks, we'd be fucking ripping into him. So Unai Emery has to take some of the blame. The reason why we're not in the Champions League is nothing to do with last night. It's because we never got in the top four. How we go and bottle it at home to Crystal Palace? That's where it all started. Uno Emery taking it too easy. Going and playing, you know, second-rate players. Putting El Nene in that in midfield. The guy hardly plays and then you go and put him in a Premier League game against Crystal Palace. That's where it started. You go and look at the Wolves game. Same thing like I've just explained. 1-0, 2-0. 3-0. You look at the Leicester game. 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. We fall apart every fucking time. I'm fucking sick of it, man. None of us deserve it. I'm fed up of it. When are we going to get a backbone? When are we actually going to get players that know what it means to play for this club? When are we going to get players that actually play for the shirt? Play with pride for the badge that they're wearing? Because I'm fucking sick of it now. Every fucking time. New manager, same bullshit. I'm not even going to get into my thoughts on the overall season and everything right now. Because this is player ratings for yesterday. I'll be doing that in a few days once I've had a chance to try and calm down. But it's a final. A European final. And you fucking turn up and do that. Are you dumb? Even at the end of the game. Not a single player, when that full-time whistle went, came over to thank the fans. They sat there sulking to themselves. Yes, you're disappointed, but it's your fault you lost. Isn't like you put 110% in, was it? Man up, get up, come over and thank the fans that have spent thousands to get there. That's cost me over three and a half grand for that final. Because I took one of my sons as well. And none of you came over to thank us. You went and picked up your runners-up medals. And then you had the audacity to try and walk off the pitch without even acknowledging us. 
It took Granite Shaka to actually grab you and bring you over. You bunch of spineless fucking wankers. Fucking fuming about that performance. 24 hours on and I'm still pissed off because it's just feeble bullshit and every fucking season we have to put up with this crap. Fed up of it. Let me get into the player rating. Starting off in goal, Petr Cech. Should not have been in goal in the first place. Don't care if he had a great performance and he made some saves. He also should have saved the first goal. Burn Leno would have saved that. Cech got his fingers to it. Leno would have actually fucking saved it. Don't give a shit what you say. End of story. He gets a six because he did make some decent saves. But he's now retired. Well done for everything you've achieved. You can now go off to Chelsea. Take your helmet. Goodbye. Going to move into the back line. First of all, Lauren Koscielny. Another player that needs to go in the bin now. Sorry, done, dusted, finished. End of story. People telling me that this guy is one of the best defenders in the history of Arsenal. Up there with the likes of Tony Adams. Behave, will ya? Get in the bin yourself with your shit opinion. Look at the way that they folded in the second half. Absolute crap. One. Socrates. Another player. What was he doing with the Giroud one and letting him pull off him? Absolute shit. One. Nacho Monreal. Another player that needs to get in the bin. I'd rather Mustafi played there. That's how shit he was. Look at the way he was reacting when Pedro ran in to score that goal. How late was Monreal? Nah. Finished. Crap. One. Going to move into the wing-back positions. First of all, on the right-hand side, Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Thought he started the game really well, and then he went to shit. In the second half, shit. Gave away the penalty. What the fuck are you doing? Sorry, but he is not the replacement for Hector Bellerin. We either strengthen on that side. End of story. Had enough of it. One. Left wing-back position, Kalazinak. This guy couldn't cross the fucking road. Absolute shit. There was a chance in the first half. Lay it across. Lacazette and Aubameyang are waiting. Tap in. What'd you do? Fucking awful. I'm hearing reports that Schalke want to buy him back. Bye bye. Get in the bin. One. Going to move into centre midfield. Lucas Torreira. Again. First half. Decent. Second half. He fell apart. He was miles off the place. He was getting spun by Hazard. And it was just a horrible, horrible evening. But he will come back from this. And I've got no problems with Torreira. But for that, he gets a one. Alongside him, Granit Xhaka. One player that can hold his head up. I don't give a shit about your shitty agendas against him. He was the best outfield player on the pitch yesterday. That started that game. End of story. Nothing wrong with his performance at all. I'll give him a six. Uh, Going to move to the attacking areas. First of all, Meza Ozil. I back this guy left, right and fucking centre and you put in that shit show. Are you fucking serious? What the fuck was that? And when you get substituted the way you walk off, are you fucking taking the piss? Honestly. Nah, 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 nah. I'll give you a one. And that was for just being there. Um, Lacazette. Now I know there weren't that many chances. And um, I love this guy. And he's going to be one of the big players next season, as long as we can keep him. But that yesterday, not good enough. Absolutely poor. Why on earth did it have to be the final that he had an off day? One. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Again, another off day. He was snapping shots. He was mishitting. He looked nervous. Absolutely dreadful performance. One. Going to move to the substitutions. Alex Awobi. Like I said earlier, brilliant performance. Great goal. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. If he could perform like that every week, then I wouldn't be critical of him, would I? But he's not like that every week. But for that, yesterday, he was brilliant. As far as I'm concerned, I give him an eight. Um, Joe Willock, when he came on, should have scored a goal. Not going to be too overcritical of that. The game was already done. It was 4-1. Um, but again, the energy, the drive and everything else, thought he'd done really well. So I'll give Joe Willock a seven. Gwendozi didn't really do anything except run around like a headless chicken, to be quite honest with you. Um, so I'll give him a four. Uh, manager's rating, Unai Emery gets a one because he picked the team that we all fought in the first place. But how are you not getting them right or motivated? What was said at half time? What happened? Seriously? Serious questions need answering. Serious questions need asking. 
Sorry, end of story. One. Um, I'm going to mark the fans. I'll give them a fucking hundred. All of us travelling all the way out there. And we had to watch that bullshit. If I'm going to mark UEFA, fuck UEFA. Don't even deserve a marking. The pitch was shit. The ref was shit. Where you made us play, the fucking final was shit. Everything about it was shit. How are you playing a European final and there's fucking empty seats everywhere? We go in the Arsenal end and there's fucking Chelsea fans there as well. Because you fucked up with the whole ticket bullshit. Absolute shambles from start to fucking finish. And I think you could tell I'm still fucking pissed off. So fucking annoyed with that shower of shit. I'm sick to fucking death of it. I don't know what more I can say on the matter. End of story. Um, so that is it. That is the player ratings. And um, yeah, like I said, if you're easily offended, then I hope you didn't watch it. Um, I'm going to be going for a season review in the next few days. Um, there's loads of content coming out. Um, Blood Brothers Series 2, that's underway filming. Um, DTFC, my uh, new team. We uh, actually have our first game tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that one. We're doing all the friendlies. Got five friendlies lined up. Um, before the actual season of Blood Brothers starts, um, when I get to take on the likes of United Stand, AFTV, etc. So, um, yeah, listen, I don't know what more to say. That was just a load of fucking shite. Absolute bottle job. Bunch of fucking useless wankers. Um, so, yeah, until I see you lot for the next video, I'm out of here.